You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out a brand new toy called the Sweet Shaper. This was featured on the toy box. It is a Mattel toy. Now in the upper right corner it says only available at Toys R Us and that's where I got mine. I purchased it online. Makes custom fun shaped candy and it includes some candy. Now interestingly enough I did a video at least three years ago for a toy called the Toot Sweet and it used Tootsie Rolls with the same kind of system. It's basically based off of that so we have some experience with it. Let me just turn the box around so you can see all the sides. There you go. There is the nutritional information for the candy that comes with it, these fruit chews. Put your candy into the machine, push down on the handle, take out your cool candy creation. And then this is a lever that pushes down. Now these are the little shaped molds they call them. There's two, four, six, eight in the package. Now this also lets you create the candy whistle, which is the same whistle on the Toot Suite. And then there's a little bit about the inventor, Barry Wilkinson. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch up the camera a little bit, come back and get it out of the package, and we'll learn more about it. All right, here we go. Let's cut the tape. I would call this a traditional unboxing video. All right. There is our wholesome, mindfully delicious organic fruit shoes. Now in... Okay, there's our molds that they call them and the little tool that you can use to scrape and take out. Here's our instructions. We'll go over those. Here's our toy. Let's see. It's got those gray twisty things. Sometimes I just don't pay attention. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was simple enough. Okay. So let's just see here exactly what we have now. Lever. Okay, that goes up and down. This pretty much like the original one. There's also a piece in here that would come out on the original one. There it is. So it looks like this is the centerpiece for cleaning. Makes it easier to clean. All right. So we'll, I guess we will learn about that as we go through it. And then let's get these out so we can look at the different shapes. Okay, hard to see. Looks like a little robot character. Then this is the skull and crossbones. All right. And then we have this. Looks like a unicorn shape. It's got a little point on the head there. A star, a shooting star. A flower-like shape. A butterfly and then your two whistle shapes one should be the left side and one should be the right side because eventually they will go together like that and then you could make your whistles now I had some good success with the whistles on the original video so let me do this now let me just show you the instructions and I'll read them just real quick take a look at them then I'll go over everything they usually always suggest you wash everything first so I'll probably do that for best results when placing a candy mold into the chamber, make sure to turn the mold until it is lined up properly. You will know it is lined up properly when the mold sits evenly in the chamber. That's very important. Let's just see. Let's get this locked back in. Okay, hear that little click. Now watch, that is not evenly. That looks pretty much evenly, so I guess they don't want it. See that where it's a little off? Got to make sure it sits flat all the way down. Then you crank that on. Okay. Now let's check out this larger set of instructions. All your contents. Set up. Note to parents, wash hands with soap and water before handling candy. Also wash the product thoroughly before use and dry with a clean towel. Now that will take some time to get these all washed out and dried. So I will do that for you. And then some other bits of information which I will go over off camera just to read through this okay and then when you're done all right so let me do all the cleaning I need to do come back 
We'll start using with their candy and give it a test, and I'll bring in a few other candies. So I will be back. All right, here we go. Everything is washed and dried and ready to go. I'm going to save the whistle for last, but let's check out these fruit chews. Let's see, they are square in shape, very much like a Starburst. And these are organic, so you can pretty much try any candy you want that has this consistency. Now, in previous videos, I did bubble gum. I was able to do Starburst, Mambos, pretty much any candy like that. So here's what comes with the initial set. Now, the original Toot Sweet video, the instructions say to actually squeeze and shape it in the wrapper. This way, if you are touching it, you're not touching it as much. Not that it really matters, because most cooking you're using your hands and you're touching your food and then eating it, right? So you also, on this machine, have a little bonus shaping area here, down here at the bottom. You can put in a tall piece or a shape piece like this, and then actually it says you can just push out the shape. Let's just see. And look at that, and then trim off the excess, which you can do. Now, I don't know how much of this we're actually going to need. What I also recommend is a pair, a nice clean pair of scissors, because that gives you nice cuts. Okay, let's just see. I have a little bowl here, which is going to be my leftovers. Let's get this machine set. So this goes into here. And this has to lock in. You hear that little click. And when the handle's up, this is basically the shape and the height you need. Okay, so that is a little less than what we need. So for these particular candies, you're probably gonna need the whole piece. So now I'll just give it a little shape here, lift that up, and push it down and squish it in. Now I'll know for sure after I make the first design. Let's use a butterfly. There's a little arrow on it, so you have to push it in Get it set where you want it. Remember, it's got to be flat. And I'm going to give you another helpful tip, which helped me out the last time I used a similar toy. Okay, so once that's locked in, now, of course, you're just going to push the handle down. And then I'll know if I have enough or too much candy, and I'll be able to work on the next shape. Okay, so now all the way down, there's going to be quite of excess. So you don't have to have... A full piece all the way up. Okay, here we go. Let's see. All right, so that is the excess. See how much excess you have? Now, they give you this little tool to clean up. They also say if it's hard to get out of the actual mold itself, then you can put it in the refrigerator, let it harden up a little, and it makes it easier to get it out of the actual shape. And then how precise and clean and neat you want to be when you do this will determine how precise your final candy piece is. Let's see. Now, the original Toot Sweet, these actually were the decorations for your whistle. So let's just get that out. There we go. So that little tab, there we go, nice little butterfly, actually stuck on the front of the whistle. Okay. So I'm going to leave that little tab on. One. Makes it a nice little stand-up display. Okay, now you get it. Now you can mix and match colors. I've done all sorts of things. But let me give you a little tidbit here. If you're having trouble with the candy, now they recommend 70 degrees. I, in the one video, was able to just take cooking spray like this, spray it in a little bowl, then take a little Q-tip, and then put it in the spots where you think it's gonna stick the most, okay? And then even in the shapes. Now sometimes it actually stays down on the top, but this kind of gets in the little crevices. Okay, let's take another piece of candy. Let's do a double color here. How about that? A swirly one. I think after this, I'm gonna bring in some other candy so you can see. All right, so let's take this. This is why these scissors come in handy. And don't, don't get rid of your scraps. That's one thing you could eat. And also, uh, that's the pink one. Let's do this orange one. Just squish back into your machine. Let's cut this one. Here, I'll tell you what. I think I like 
this one and this one. So let's just put these together. And let's see if a little less. I'm going to put this one together. Let's see which one's going to work better. And you can actually just roll it out if you want to roll it out or go into this now. And press it to fit. That's pretty nice. Here again, eat or save this scrap for later. All right, now, the one that I did was this one here. I'll match them all up in a little bit here. So let me grab this again. Let me take a little bit more of this. Let's see. This did work on the first video I did for a similar toy. Okay. So make sure that's flat. Oh, almost forgot the most important thing. Oh, it looks like that is sticking now. Let's just investigate. Now you can also put your pinky in there to get that out. Alright, so there is a little candy in there, which is sticking. It's pretty quick once you get the hang of it. Okay, so that's better. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to have, hopefully, two colors here. Let me do this. I'm going to switch my camera before I press this one out and give you a nice clear shot inside. All right, here we go. Now a couple things. Uh, one other thing I recommend is just to have a little paper towel or a towel that's slightly damp where you can keep wiping your hands because they do get sticky as you play with your candy. How cool is that? That one came out nice. All right, here we go. Let's take the pressure off. Okay, it came out really nice there. So let's just take a look at this here, because I think after this, I'm gonna switch candies on you. So I will come right back and do a few other ones that I got just for this video. Okay, let's see. You just got to get your finger in there. Not bad. There's our little robotic friend. Okay, all right, I'm going to come back now with a few other candies. Here's what we have so far. And then I will uh, continue on making these for you. All right, here we go. Bubble Yum, Starburst, and Tootsie Rolls, because I do have more to do here. So now I have the skull and crossbones let's do that in bubble gum now the thing about bubble gum is it is softer it is definitely stickier so here is where coating the mold really will help let's just get some out of here now my first few attempts on the original video failed with the gum just because it was so soft okay so there we go so I'm going to coat everything now with a little bit more of the cooking stuff that should keep it from sticking. Now this is not, well, I didn't see it in their instructions, but this is something that I found helped out if you're struggling. Okay. Perfect. Now after you make all these, then of course you can eat them. That might be a fun thing for parents to put a couple of these in a little bag, make them, make them some shapes, make your kids some shapes in the morning. I'm not gonna mix this gum with the other. Here we go. See, that one presses so much softer. There we go. I'm just letting it all pressurize there. Well, hopefully the extra cooking spray definitely helps okay see how much easier that is to get out and then I'm just gonna bend this back you can cut all that extra but now you have a nice bubblegum snack all right so let's grab 
a starburst and let's do the star how perfect is that now these are the same as the other ones but let's see it's definitely a little harder okay let's get this in here it's working pretty good now the one the video that I made three years ago and then one after that the machine definitely with all the older plastic it would creak and make all kinds of sounds and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can go check those two videos out I guess I would be considered the toot sweet candy making expert here because I have done this numerous times so skull and crossbone done okay so these are all done over there so I still have two more designs and then the whistle. Okay, here we go. Actually, it's soft too. There. I'm guessing now with all that cooking spray, it should be pretty easy to get this out. But we will see. Okay, let's find a point here that you can just get that underneath. Basically, you're just picking at it. It's like a lot of the candy kits I've made. There we go. There is my Starburst Star. And I'm leaving those little handles on there, see? Makes it nice for presentation later. Okay, so that one's done. We've done that. We've done that. Let's bring in a Tootsie Roll now. Let's grab the unicorn. Let's do a green one. Let's get some new color in here. Hopefully it's green, yes. Now, well, we got to soften that one up just a little. All right, let's press it out. That's a nice addition to the toy. So you're making your shape. Okay. Well, I wonder if I should mix all these candies in my whistle. We will see. Okay, now if there is extra, they say you can just trim it off. Okay, there we go. How about I give you another extreme close-up? Let me reset the camera here. All right, here we go. Almost. There you go. I was just waiting for the tip of that horn to fill in. I know that's extremely close, isn't it? Let me back this up a little bit. Okay. Oh, that one came out really nice. Look at that. So here again, some nice little scissors will give you a cleanup. You can use their tool as well. Now my other shapes are in the refrigerator, so I can keep them Fresh. Looks like you could just pull it apart too. That cooking spray gives it a nice little glossy coat. All right, so I'm going to put that one in the fridge. I have one more shape to make for you, the flower. So let me, uh, well, let me decide on that and come back. And maybe I'll mix a couple colors. Yeah, let me do that. Mix some colors. Or I'll tell you what, let me use this scrap. I'll roll that up, but I want to do a quick clean up here. Okay, just turn the camera down a little bit, cleaning up. Let's take all of this. So now I'm mixing, except for the gum. That's the only one I don't want to mix into this. That's going to make for a nice flower. Look at that. Okay, I think I'm going to need a little bit more there. Let's press it into here. OK. 
Okay. I'll put that at the bottom. All right, this will be the last shape for now, and then I'm going to do the whistles. Or the whistle. Perfect. But I am going to cover this just a little bit so we all learn here. It's kind of like a learning process. There must be little notches. I guess it's the notches here that are lining up with these notches here. And that's what's the spot, the zone. That's when you know you have it in the zone. Come on, zone. There we go. Now let's see if I can just do this one without stopping here. We'll get right into it. Here we go. The multicolor. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Let's clean it out. That's probably going to be my favorite. Probably yours too. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just eat that little bit. Well, look at that. Perfect. So there you go. All right, I'm going to decide on the whistle. Let's get all these out now. Let me get my whistles in here. What do you think? What would you do? I'm probably going to do... Well, I'll tell you what. Just because they provided the candy, let's use their two flavors, one on each side. And do that next. No, we're going to stop. We're going to just do it. I was going to put my other one in the refrigerator, but I'll wait. Okay, here's where the nice little wet towel. Then dry. Keep your hands free. So that's what I've been doing, kind of rinsing my hands. Keeping them clean. The only thing I suggest here is to make sure you don't do two of the same whistles. I believe the original ones were labeled left and right. So I'm going to put that one way off to the side. Let's get this one squished out. Perfect. Okay, let's just give this. It's important. These whistles, if they don't, if they're not shaped right, you're gonna have issues with your whistle. I think I've made at least six of these in that other video. And then all the little faces. I was really cranking the candy out that day. Did I mention I will put the link to those videos in the description? If not, that's where they're going. Okay, nice. Hopefully that comes out real nice. Now if I remember correctly, it did help putting these in the refrigerator. Okay, there's whistle piece number one. Try to keep that as intact as possible. Let's do flavor number two. So, okay, so this one is done. Get that one out of the way. Let's bring this one in. Okay. If you have two people and one person's doing all the shaping, you can crank these out. 
Oh. <laughs> I pushed down on it. There we go. There we go. Seems like sometimes I have a, I guess it just depends on where that starts to line up correctly. Okay, here we go. The last one. Okay. All right, so that's it for shaping now. I've done all of the different pieces. The whistle. Needs to connect now. This to this. Now, like I said, this worked better when I put it in the fridge. Just make sure you're lining up everything as good as possible. There's your air. It should work, but I'll bring it into the fridge. It does. All right, so I'm going to play with it a little bit more. It's getting a little soft and warm in here. But now we have a working whistle. I will refrigerate this and then I will come back when everything is ready and then wrap it up. Okay, I'm back. I want to say it was a total success. Had fun making all these candies for you. As you can see, all my little shapes and designs. Now, my first whistle, the candy was too soft and that one I remade just to show you. And I remade whistles in all the different candies that I showed you. Now, these originally we're put on the fronts as your decoration for your whistles in the original set, but you don't have to do that. So let me just do this. I'm going to zoom in here. Bring them all in so you can enlarge the video if you want and take a look at those. But I do want to show you the whistles now. All right, so this one is the remake of the candy that came with the kit. So headphone users, be ready. Let me just get this zoomed in as much as possible so you can take a look. Here we go. Okay, that one works really good. This is a Starburst whistle. Wow, that is loud. This is a Tootsie Roll whistle. And then this is the bubble gum. Now the hardest one to make, it's soft, so you have to be careful with that one. But as you can tell, the whistles work great. And you can whistle while you work on your candy creations, right? And there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the bad whistle with a piece of glitter on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat this one. I'm going to say thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Now, if you want to see those other videos, look at the description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. Hmm. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.